Can you share with us like uh, your experience with the Japanese language uh, lessons? Okay, so um, after I entered JASO, to be honest, it wasn't easy for us. As you know, Arabic is written from uh, the right, but Japanese is written from the left. And also, um, Japanese has a lot of uh, kanji, like the characters. And uh, what, what makes it harder that the one kanji have more than one reading, this is what makes it really difficult. But JASO was a very intensive course. We, we go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we have everyday um, examination. And like before the weekend, we have a big examination. And also each course, every three months, we have big examination and they change the classes according to your grade. So yeah, that's why I become like after one year I become more adopted to like speak Japanese very smoothly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good. And I think at the beginning everything seems hard, but when you decide to make it and you you work hard, things will get. Uh, yes, exactly. And when you enjoy the process of learning, it will be much more fun for you also to adapt things more quickly. So um, I, I really loved Jasso and I really loved my teacher. So it was. Um, uh, how can I say, I adopted the environment very quickly in Jasso. And also there is a lot of uh, students from everywhere, so you make a lot of friends. Yeah, that's very, very so, good. Yes. Very good. <laughs> so we go more in deep with your life in Japan and more specifically, like as a girl coming from the MENA area, what do you think about um, uh, the interaction with the Japanese people, especially like different religion, different culture? Okay, so when I first came here, as I said before, I came in 2015 in a field trip, I couldn't really know the Japanese people and the way of thinking because, as I said, it was a field trip and we were in our groups and with our professors. But when I first came here in 2018, I become more able to uh, to know the people and the, the environment and Japan. Um, so it was very safe for me here. Um, to be honest, it was a little bit scary, scary in the first two months because I didn't uh, been really uh, like uh, ad totally independent from my family so this is where the first time that I do so so it was a little bit scary but I adopted everything after two months the Japanese people is really really kind and they try to help you even if they don't really understand what you are saying and um, I didn't face any discrimination regarding my hijab which make the life much easier for me here so yeah, they might be curious about why are you wearing hijab and uh, especially in the summer it's not hot for you but it's not like a serious thing. They are just curious to know more about you and your like religion. Yeah, they know more and they respect more and things yes. are very, very smooth. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm very glad for your successful uh, experience in Japan and now would you like to share uh, some recommendations for the future students, please? Okay, so what I would recommend for the future students is um, to go out for their dreams because to be honest, it's not easy things to have a dream and it's not easy choice to uh, decide to go abroad by your own and to start a new journey. So I would recommend them to uh, go for it. And also um, I would uh, advise them to uh, start searching for the universities or the major that they are want to uh, join in because uh, not all of the universities here are uh, uh, offering English courses so they have to be aware whatever it's English or Japanese uh, course so they have to prepare themselves in advance. Uh, so yes, and I would advise them also to start learning Japanese, not necessarily for their studies, but to make their life much easier here in Japanese, in Japan, and to communicate with Japanese people as well. Thank you very much, Fatma-san, for your uh, fruitful or for your uh, important uh, experience with us. We hope you, or we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you.